The Roman Emperor Nero is believed to have been the first to chill wine in containers of ice. Despite the convenience of modern refrigerators, ice buckets and servers are still used today. They add presentation value to any occasion, whether the host is on a champagne or a beer budget. This ice server's simple design drains melted ice, so food stays cold without getting wet. An automated guillotine blade chops large sheets of high-grade stainless steel into rectangles. A worker takes each rectangle to a punch press. The press cuts a pattern of holes into the steel. The pattern is geometric and will drain melting ice efficiently. Next, it's over to a deep drawing press. It uses 110 tons of force to transform the rectangle into a pie-style plate. A punch cutter removes the excess steel from the rim. The worker now has a perforated ice tray. He transfers it to another punch press, which cuts finger holes for lifting it from the base. The next worker places a larger steel rectangle into a different press. This will shape the bowl the ice tray rests in. He returns to the tray and buffs the rim to a mirror finish. After polishing the outside of the bowl to a high gloss, he welds two screws to the bottom. With the screws firmly in place, he connects the two steel legs to the bowl. He attaches a steel platform to the other end of the legs. This ice server is complete and ready to chill. But before they uncork the champagne, they need an ice bucket. The bucket starts with the pre-cut steel disc. An employee places the disc in a more powerful press. It uses 165 tons of force to transform the disc into a basic bucket shape. Next, another press applies over 175 tons of force to deepen the bucket and reduce the diameter. Stretching the flat disc twice has made the metal fragile, so it's exposed to induction coils that are heated to over 1800 degrees. After cooling, the steel's strength is restored and it's ready to be shaped again. The final press gives the ice bucket a cone-like shape. The ice bucket spins on a table that moves through six different polishing stations. The brushes at each stop are progressively thinner, and this gradual polishing gives the stainless steel bucket a high sheen. With the help of a template, the worker welds handles to the steel bucket. Then the bucket is set upside down on a revolving table. A pressurized sprayer shoots fine mineral particles to give the interior a smooth finish. This is the result. A filler head now dispenses acid and then plunges into it and applies an electrical current. This removes the surface metal resulting in a brilliant finish. After the acid is washed off, a worker inserts a perforated plate for drainage. This ice bucket is now ready for a party.